This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from the creativedejo.net. Welcome to another episode of Dejo TV, a show where we talk about all things motion design and visual effects. For our first set of stories, Hashi aka Action Movie Kids from Red Giant slash Maxon released a new free script that you'll want to download called 3D Plane Stamp. Effectively, it can cut out your clean plate to match a 3D solid or plane. So for example, cutting out a clean plate to match your 3D track shape layer, this can be a very tedious process manually, but this script does it instantly in one click. This can be super useful in compositing, whether you're trying to cut things out, do 3D projection mapping, etc. Very useful tool for After Effects. Check it out, it's free down below. Live Magic Design announced that DaVinci Resolve will be coming to the iPad. It'll be optimized for multi-touch workflow and the Apple Pencil, and it'll bring the cut and color pages to the tablet workflow. You'll be able to collaborate with other creators with Blackmagic Cloud, HDR will be supported for certain iPad Pro models, and you'll be able to send a clean feed to output monitors like the Studio Display, Pro Display XDR, and other AirPlay compatible devices. The great part is you'll be able to open and create standard DaVinci Resolve project files compatible with the desktop version, and it'll support file formats like H.264 and H.265, ProRes, and Blackmagic RAW. It will be available for free in Q4 of this year, with an upgrade to the studio version available as an in-app purchase. Now, I'm not really a DaVinci Resolve user as of right now, but I've been meaning to switch over, and this may be the kind of push that I kind of need to kind of switch over to that side. Version Raptor by Hyperbrew is a new extension for After Effects and Premiere Pro. It's basically a simple tool to help you with versioning your work. Add new versions to your project, comp, or sequence with the click of a button with reminders. If you open an old project that hasn't been saved in a while, the tool will tell you. If you open an older version of a project, it'll let you know you're not using the most up-to-date version of the project file. It's a friendly and helpful little tool for any After Effects and Premiere user out there, so check it out and best of all, it is free. We got a couple of videos from School of Motion. The first one is from Sarah Wade, and she goes over how to kind of design for multiple screen resolutions. This can be really helpful if you're constantly adjusting and exporting renders for social media, advertisements, or different devices. They've even included a free After Effects template project file to help you design with different aspect ratios in mind. It's not a perfect solution, but it is a great way to start that will hopefully save you some time. In another video, Joey will walk you through how to design the iPhone 14's dynamic island animation right within After Effects. He'll go over creating the actual motion, massaging it with the curve editor, and some nice UI tips. If you ever wanted to get into UI UX animation, this could be an interesting tutorial for you. And the last video from them is from EJ. He goes over some of the new Cinema 40 2023's new features on their cloth systems, which got a nice refresh with faster speeds. He'll go over some scene settings, particle and field forces, scene scale, cloth parameters, using cloth with cloners, and much more. Check the video out down below. Before I go any further, I want to give a quick thanks to our sponsor over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only one platform to create an amazing website whether it's for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing themes to choose from, fully customizable so you can make it the way you want it to look like without having any code knowledge required. They have awesome 25 hour support and best of all, use promo code DOJO at checkout. You're gonna have to save 10% off your order and support the dojos. Check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. Our next story is from Premium Beat and it's from Jason Boone. He goes over how the After Effects space works from composition space to layer space to anchor points, parenting. This video goes over all the bases of working in space within After Effects and some of the nuances that you'll find and encounter as an After Effects user. Check it out, it's a great tutorial for beginners. The next video tutorial is by Daniel Danielson. He'll go over how to create this nice, beautiful, procedurally growing frost animation using Cinema 4D and X particles. He'll go over emitting and adding trails, how frost typically works, how to use XP branch and XP follow surface, rendering and shading, and much more. This is an awesome Cinema 4D and X particles tutorial. Check it out down below. Our last set of news is from the folks over at Action VFX. They have a lot of tutorials coming out recently. The first one is about how to composite blood within After Effects. They'll go over tips for blending in blood into your action shots. They'll cover how to analyze lighting, color, and movement to make sure that your blood composites look realistic. They'll go over compositing wounds, add blood effects after bullet hits, how to color match the elements, and how to add mist and spider for some extra detail. The next video is about how to loop VFX elements seamlessly. This video tutorial will show you how to do that without using any third-party tools or plugins. They'll cover the basic workflow on how to loop VFX elements, how to transition them to create seamless loops, and how to apply the looping technique to different types of elements. The last tutorial from them is about how to composite ground cracks in your projects, whether using stock textures, stuff from Video Copilot or Action VFX, or even rendering your own in your 3D application. They talk about blending modes, how to blend in your elements in, creating texture displacement on your background plates, using EXR files, 
and much more. Check it out down below. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys like videos like this, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.